All right, we're going to be solving one step equations today. But before we do that, we need to talk about a very, very important concept that we're going to apply and utilize today. Inverse operations. Inverse is just a, another vocabulary term that means opposite. So let's go ahead and jot that down. Opposite operations. We're going to be using inverse or opposite operations today to solve our equations. For example, you guys know this. The opposite or the inverse of addition is subtraction. The inverse or the opposite of subtraction is addition. The inverse or the opposite of multiplication, and let's jot down all of the, the different ways we could write multiplication. Um, we might even have something like this. All of our little examples. What is the opposite of multiplication? Division. So let's put all of those up here as well. Sometimes we'll have the slash. Maybe we'll have um, like a fraction. All of those are symbols for multiplication, so or for division, rather. There's one more on here, and I realized I didn't update this before I printed all of these, but there's really one more that we'll work on a little later in the year, and that's exponents and square roots. So the opposite of a number to the second power, or a number squared, is taking the square root of that. So um, to undo a, an exponent, we're going to use square roots, and we'll see that later on. All right, now we're going to use this information and apply it through our practice problem. So let's take a look. Before we tackle actually solving an equation, though, we're going to think about it in a very logical way, hands-on equation monsters. So we're going to look at this like a scale that you might have in science, right? Think about what happens in a scale in science. Um, if you have more on one side or not enough on one side, then our scale is unbalanced, right? One side might lean heavier down toward the tabletop. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, for our variable x, I'm going to draw a little ghost monster. Ooh. Okay, there's my little ghost monster. And um, for the one, I'm just going to draw a box. Okay, for my three over here, I'm going to draw three boxes. Okay, so we can see that we have x plus one on one side of our equal sign, on one side of our balance, is equal to three boxes. So our goal is to figure out, well, how much just does just our ghost way, right? How many boxes is our ghost worth? And so ultimately, what we're going to do is, well, we're going to get rid of this box. But if we get rid of a box from one side, our balance is going to be unbalanced. So if we get rid of one box from the left side, what do we have to do over here on the right? Get rid of a box. So now we know how much just our ghost is worth. Our little monster is worth two boxes. Okay, we're going to apply that same concept to what we just did down here on our equation. Now you'll notice I drew a line through the equal sign. This is going to represent my balance, right? What I do on one side, we're going to have to do on the other to keep our equation balanced, just like we did here. So... If our goal is to get our variable by itself, just like we did here, we have to get rid of whatever is hanging out with it on that side of the equal sign. And we're going to do that by applying inverse or opposite operations, right? You guys, what is the opposite of adding one? Subtracting one. But if we subtract one on one side, like we did here, what do we have to do on the other? the exact same thing. So subtract one from the other side. And now just like in our little model here, we got rid of that plus one. What we're left with is just our variable x, just our ghost, equals this little math problem, which you guys can do. Three minus one gives us two. And there we are. All right, we'll do one more practice problem over here. Again, our balance, right, is like our equal sign. So we have our little ghost. Doo, 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 doo. Ooh. 
our ghost and two boxes is equal to five boxes. But remember, our ultimate goal is to figure out how many boxes, how many numbers is our actual variable, our actual ghost worth. So we're trying to get our variable by itself. So in order for us to do that, we are going to have to get rid of these two boxes. But if we get rid of those two boxes, what just happened to our balance? It's going to be really wonky. One side is going to be heavier than the other. So if we get rid of two boxes on the left side, we're going to have to get rid of two boxes on the right side as well. And now all we're left with on our scale is our ghost equaling three boxes. Okay. It's very much the exact same thing is happening on our equation that we're going to solve right here without pictures. Our goal is again to get our variable by itself. So we're going to have to use inverse or opposite operations to get rid of whatever is hanging out with it on that side of the equal sign. In this case, it's plus two. So you guys, what is the opposite of adding two? Subtracting two. So we subtract two from both sides, just like we did here. And now we're left with just our variable because we got rid of those two, it's gone. So we have X equals this little math problem, five minus two, which is three. All right, so there's our quick little introduction. We are definitely going to be using these inverse operations to solve these, um, our next example problems coming up.